Hi everyone. This is Ramalinga Prasad Kupa. Welcome to my channel Pharma World. Today's topic is Relative Standard Deviation Calculation for Determination of Assay. Most of the monograph articles have a percent relative standard deviation in the specifications to establish the precision of replicate injections. USP chapter prescribes how to calculate percent RSD for certain cases where the purity is 100% and no upper limit percent RSD is prescribed. Let us understand the intricate requirements of the USP chapter 621 in this video. Let us see the USP chapter 621 requirement. Replicate injections of a standard preparation or other standard solutions are compared to ascertain whether requirements for precision are met. USP chapter 621 prescribes that the precision of the replicate injections should be established unless otherwise specified in individual monograph data from five replicate injections of the analyte are used to calculate the relative standard deviation percent rsd if the requirement is two percent or less and data from six replicate injections are used if the relative standard deviation requirement is more than 2%. So for percent RSD less than 2% data from 5 replicate injections is required and it is more than 2% the data from 6 replicates is necessary. For the assay in drug substance monograph where the SA value is 100% for pure substance and no maximum relative standard deviation is stated. The maximum permitted percent RSD is calculated for a series of injections of the reference solution by the following formula. Percent RSD is equal to K multiplied by B multiplied by root N divided by T 90% at n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So there is a provision to have a series of injections between 3 and 6 and the percent RSD is calculated by this formula. Let us understand this formula carefully. In this k is constant 0 0.349 obtained from the expression k is equal to 0 0.6 by square root of 2 multiplied by t90 at 5 degrees of freedom divided by square root of 6 in which 0 0.6 by square root of 2 represents the required percentage standard deviation after 6 injections for b is equal to 1. b is the upper limit given in the definition of the individual monograph minus 100%. Let us understand how the k value of 0 0.349 is obtained in the coming up slides. Factor B is important. If the upper limit of SA is 101%, the B value will be 101 minus 100 that is 1. The calculation is already given as 0 0.349 for this B value. If the upper limit is 102%, then the B value will be 2. If the upper limit is 102.5, the value for B will be 2.5. And similarly, if the upper limit is 103%, B will be 3. Respective percent RSDs are provided in the table in the next slide for replicate injections between 3 and 6. Let us see. 
further and is the number of injections of the reference solutions it should be between 3 and 6 so n is the number of replicate injections minimum requirement is 3 and maximum is 6 p90 percent n minus 1 is the students t at the 90 percent probability level double sided with n minus 1 degrees of freedom these are statistically derived figures which can be obtained from internet however the table is provided in the next slide for your ready reference remember that the t90 values should be taken for n minus 1 degrees of freedom that means for three injections t90 value for 3 minus 1 that is 2 should be considered similarly for four injections it should be 3 for five injections the value of 4 and for six injections the value of 5 should be considered for calculation unless otherwise prescribed in the the maximum permitted relative standard deviation does not exceed the appropriate given in the table of repeatability requirements so the percent rsd must be within the specified figures in the table this requirement does not apply to tests for related substances so this is not applicable for relative substances test by hplc this table we were discussing is part of usp 621 chapter under system suitability section this is the t distribution chart degrees of freedom n minus 1 will be 1 less to the number of injections the values against each degrees of freedom df should be considered this 0.1 represents 90 percent that means 1 minus 0.9 let us see this example let us see how you get this constant k is equal to 0 0.349 so if you see the formula k is equal to 0 0.6 divided by square root of 2 multiplied by t90 at 5 degrees of freedom divided by square root of 6 so k will be 0 0.4243 multiplied by 2.015 divided by 2.4495 so 0 0.6 divided by square root of 2 which will be 1.4142 the value is 0 0.4243 and t90 for 5 degrees of freedom is 2.015 which is obtained from the t distribution table in the above chart So the k value is 0 0.349 for a b value of 1.0. Let us see how you calculate for b value 2, 2.5 or 3. You see the table in the earlier slide. In this n is the total number of replicate injections and you have to consider the degrees of freedom n minus 1. That means if it is 6 injections you have to consider the degree, degrees of freedom as 5 and if it is 5 injections it is 4 and if it is 4 injections the degrees of freedom is 3 and finally if the injections are 3 the degrees of freedom is 2 let us see how the calculation goes for the b value 2.0 percent as say is 102.0 calculation is same so for three replicate injections the percent rsd maximum percent rsd is 0.41 for four injections it is 0.59 and for five injections it is 0.73 and for six injections it is 0.85 percent similarly for b value of 2.5 these are the calculations the value for three replicate injections is 0 0.52 for four replicate injections 
the value is 0 0.74 for five replicate injections the value is 0 0.92 and for six replicate injections the value is 1.06 percent in this slide the calculations for b is equal to 3 percent that is sa is 103 percent is calculated in a similar way so for three replicate injections the percent rsd is 0.62 percent for four replicate injections it is 0.89 for five replicate injections it is 1.10 and finally for six replicate injections the percent rsd is 1.27 percent check all these numbers against the table given above this table you can see in the usp 621 chapter anyway compare the calculated values with the table provided in the usp 621 chapter you will enjoy to see that the numbers tally very much i hope that the rsd calculations when specific RSD values are not specified for any API with a purity of 100%. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like, and share. Also, please leave a message in comments box for any further support. Thank you.